Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. This week, I want to talk about the fact that your ex will keep tabs on you, even if they broke up with you. What? I know. Surprise, surprise. Now, why would they do that? Well, several reasons. So stay tuned and you'll find out. But first, I want to welcome back my beautiful No Contact Army. If you have been having trouble staying in no contact, be sure to download my app Silencio and hit the panic button when you want to break no contact. And the link to that is underneath every single video and podcast. And if you too would like to join our beautiful no contact army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our manual, go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before purchasing the book. And the link to that is of course underneath every single video and every single podcast. So, your ex keeping tabs on you, huh? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. People think that once they are broken up with that, their ex is just going to forget about them and move on and not care about them. And that's so far from the truth. You know, they get worried when they think, well, how can they see that I've changed if they're not in my life? It's like, don't worry. They're going to see because they're watching. Now, how do I know that? Well, several ways I know. One is... Think about it. Have you ever kept tabs on an ex, whether you broke up with them or you were broken up with? I think we all have. We keep tabs on people that we're interested in, whether it's colleagues or friends or family or exes. So that's just human nature. We like to see what certain people are up to, right? And on top of that, I have proof. I have facts. I have research. And this is from pewresearch.org. And they said that roughly half of social media users have used social media to check up on an ex. And it's actually 53%. And the site most used is Instagram. Surprise, surprise. So obviously we don't know in this 53% whether they were the dumb per or the dumb P. But at least we have some numbers to start with. But this is just on social media. But that's not the only way that someone can keep tabs on you. Obviously they can do it through friends family, colleagues, a number of ways. So I think, actually never mind think, I know that the percentage is higher. And especially if you were dumped, I'm sure you're keeping tabs on your ex. And there's reasons why some people will keep tabs on the person that they dumped. So what are these reasons? Well, one of them is, as I mentioned actually before in another video, the post breakup competition, that silent competition to see who's doing better. And they wanna see what you're up to to see if you're doing better after the breakup or if they're doing better. It's just this childish competition. So it could be that, or they wanna see, did you move on? Do you have someone else? And if you do, who is this person? Are they better than them? Are they worse than them? What do they do? What do they look like? Because maybe they might want to come back, but obviously they can't if you are seeing someone. So they're always checking to see if there's someone new in your life. That's why the jealousy card played right at the right time is so effective in getting an ex back. Another reason that your ex could be keeping tabs on you is they want to see if you're thinking about them. So how will they know that? Well, if it's social media, they'll know that through the things that you post. If you're referring to them, if they're kind of cryptic cryptic, and it could be referring to them, or if you're wearing things that they gave you or going to places that you used to go together. I know that people that have been dumped, they'll say, well, my ex, they just changed their profile photo and they put up a photo of something that I gave them. What does that mean? So even the dumper, they may do that. And sometimes it means something. And sometimes they're just messing with you. And just sometimes they just felt like wearing it, whether it was jewelry or clothing. So they want to know if you're thinking about them again, just in case they decide they want to get back with you. They want to see what their chances are. Or if it's not on social media, they can ask people that know you. That's why if someone asks you about the breakup and they know your ex, you can't tell them the truth. You've got to say, yes, it was um, a surprise when it happened, but I accept it and now I'm, I'm moving on with my life. That's the only answer you give. You do not let any other information leak out. 
Another reason they may be keeping tabs on you is because they want to see if they made the right decision. As I talked about in my very first video, and I'll link it up in the corner, on getting an ex back, called uh, How to Easily Get Your Ex Back. When people break up with you, they rarely are 100% certain that they are making the right decision. And so there's a percentage of them, a part of them, that wonders if they made the right decision. So they check up on you to see what you're up to. So don't give them evidence that they made the right choice by acting crazy. <laughs> this is why I say when you've been dumped, just carry on as normal, act normal, as normal as you can, act like nothing happened on the outside, okay? You wanna be freaking out on the inside, that's fine. So whatever stuff you usually post on social media, you post the same things. Don't start posting these quotes, again, cryptic quotes about relationships, self-worth, etc etc because they're going to know it's about them um, I can get away with that luckily because of what I do <laughs> but even I make sure that I don't post anything that could be misconstrued as aimed towards a specific person so just act normal after the breakup and don't give them fodder for thinking oh yes I made the right choice look at how this person is acting they're crazy thank god I got away from them right we don't want to do that and then finally the last reason, although there are many reasons, but just the ones I'm going to mention here, is that they're trying to figure out if they contact you, if you're even willing to talk to them or even take them back. So they want to see, are you single? What's your emotional state? What state of mind are you in? Are you vulnerable? You know, some people are more calculating. And so if something bad, quote unquote, bad happens to you and you're more vulnerable, they might think, oh, this is a good time to reach out. <laughs> So be careful about what you post because your ex could be checking you out to see if this is a good time to contact you or not. We don't want to give them any information or you can fake it and pretend you're vulnerable, right? To see if they're going to reach out. As I mentioned in a video, um, if I could find it, I'll post it. And people were not very happy when I <laughs> posted this video. Um, in early in my ex back career and I took it from something that happened to me because I actually had to go to the hospital and then an ex reached out and said are you okay and so I said if you want to that you can put up a post saying that you had to go to the hospital and and then just not say anything else so your ex is gonna assume oh my god something happened Mimo, maybe you were just having lunch at the hospital I don't know okay okay you're not having lunch at the hospital <laughs> but maybe you were visiting someone at the hospital so you could be there yeah I'm at the hospital right now you could be doing anything at the hospital so that's just a little trick if you're trying to get your ex to contact you but I know when I made that video and posted it it was like oh that's not right listen the end justifies the means, Machiavelli. So do what you got to do. That's what I say. Okay. So those are the reasons why your ex is keeping tabs on you. So now I want to hear from you. Do you think or do you know that your ex is keeping tabs on you and why are they doing it? Comment below and let us know. In the meantime, if you would like my help personally to get your ex back, contact me at theartoflove.net. The direct link is below every video and podcast, and we will send you the rates. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.